Now let's talk about this question. This is a five-year-old fair-skinned blue-eyed girl is brought to the ER due to sudden onset of weakness on the left side of the body and slurred speech. She was playing with her toys just before the incident. There was no history of trauma to the head. Her medical history is un unremarkable. She is tall for her age. The rest of her growth curve is below the fifth percentile. Her developmental milestones are delayed. She has long, emaciated arms and legs and arachnodactyly. Physical exam reveals brisk, deep tendon reflexes, positive Babinski on the left side, hyperlaxity of the skin and joints, and mild scoliosis. Which of the following is most likely diagnosis? Now, she's a five-year-old and she had a stroke because there was sudden onset of weakness on the left side of the body and slurred speech. Okay, That's why she was brought to the ER. That should not be happening in a five-year-old. So she must be having a disease which is probably causing hypercoagulable state, right? Because she was playing with her toys just before the incident and there was no history of trauma to the head. There is no reason why, without any history, she should be having a stroke at five-year age. But there is more information. Her medical history is unremarkable. So where do you go with that? She's tall for her age. Now she's tall for her age. The rest of the growth curve is below 5th percentile. So she has mental retardation. She's tall. Her developmental milestones are delayed. So there is developmental delay. She has long arms and legs and arachnodactyly. Physical exam reveals brisk deep tendon reflexes and positive Babinski, which is also showing that he had, she had upper motor neuron lesion due to the stroke. And she has hyperlaxity of the skin and joints and mild scoliosis. Now, a lot of these symptoms are screaming Marfanoid syndrome. But why would a patient with Marfan syndrome have a stroke at five years of age? That's because this is probably not Marfanoid syndrome. In fact, this is also due to homocystinuria, uh, due to cystathione synthase deficiency. When you have uh, Marfanoid syndrome plus hypercoagulability state together, in those situations, the answer is going to be homocystinuria or cystathione synthase deficiency. So in this particular question, that would be the correct answer.